Greetings Commanders, I'm Commander Avasa, and welcome to the AXI Debrief where you can get the current news and information within the AXI. This week we'll be covering an update on the Art of War, the series trial results are in, and Operation Ida makes their final push. If you enjoy any of this content, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, and if you wish to be notified of any future debrief videos, consider hitting the subscribe button along with that bell icon. Now before I begin the debrief, I want to personally apologize to everyone who watches this and expects it to be released on Fridays as I was not able to do it this week. I unfortunately did not get the jump on the debrief throughout the week and with additional shifts at work and setting aside time to spend with my family on Saturday, I did not get the debrief out on its regularly scheduled time. I know many will understand as all of us in the AXI always push our real life priorities ahead of Elite, but I still apologize for not getting the content out in time. Now with that, the Art of War has been in high gear pushing for nothing but Thargoid hearts and probes. As of the writing of the debrief, we have 4,687 Thargoid hearts collected out of 10,000, and 191 of the 250 probes needed to complete the goal. We have definitely seen a surge of commanders helping us push these numbers faster, and during the week we saw our required numbers of hearts go down from 200 a day to 190 required in a day. So we're making very good progress to meet the August 20th deadline. It has been amazing watching new commanders join the AXI to get involved with this project, and watching all the new commanders take their first steps into what is arguably the most difficult PV aspect of the game is just phenomenal. Thank you to all the commanders out there doing their part to help us succeed in this undertaking. The series trial has completed its first season, and we had a total of 25 commanders submit their times to the trial. What was really surprising to many of us is how many commanders in the junior bracket performed. The times that they achieved for being new commanders to AX Combat is incredibly impressive, and so I want to thank and congratulate these commanders especially for taking a part in a challenge designed to test their skill, and they performed very well. I've learned a lot hosting this, and after taking in some input from many commanders during and post trial, we will be adjusting and mitigating a few things in the future to help level the playing field a bit more. Congratulations of course to all the commanders who participated, and I have provided a link to the leaderboard below and a link to the post-trial survey to give feedback of what you thought about the trial and what we can do to improve on it for the coming seasons. We look forward to seeing what you can do during Season 2, which I think will require a bit more thinking and planning as SRVs make their introduction into the trial. I'm sure many of you know that Operation Ida, the organization built around repairing all the damaged stations from Thargoid incursions, is nearing their final stop. As of this debrief, they are three stations away from repairing all the damage the Thargoids have done. This group has been an amazing group of commanders giving up their time to bring these stations back online, and without a doubt, fleet carriers have allowed them to make even larger pushes to stations far out of reach from their material sources. What will happen after they complete their goal is unknown, as current content activity within Elite has snagged in it a bit with a Thargoid story, but I can only hope that FDev We'll hit the Thargoid button to allow organizations like this to continue to do what they love and do best. Thank you to everyone who's contributed to Operation Ida, and we here at the AXI salute you and thank you for all of your hard work. Starting off the Commander Achievements this week, we have two commanders achieving a double Cyclops kill, and the first one is Commander PXT Siryu, I can't even say that right, and the second commander is Commander Billy Sunday 72 Seeing commanders push it up a notch with taking on multiple interceptors, putting what commanders know to the test, is always entertaining to watch. We had two commanders achieve amazing speedrun kills of the Cyclops variant, and this is with taking out each heart individually. The first commander is Commander Orlando, who pulled it off in 1 minute and 33 seconds, and Commander Maligno achieved this in 1 minute and 19 seconds. Congratulations to these commanders for making quick work of the Cyclops. Commander Maraca pulled off a Medusa and triple Cyclops kill in his Imperial Cutter. Always great fun to see the strength of Imperial ships pull off great kills like these. And we have a new entry into the 100% Club by Commander Todd Quiller. Challenge ranks like these always push a commander's skill to the test, and so congratulations Commander Todd Quiller for joining the elite rank within our community. And for the kill of the week, this commander returns yet again in an amazing fashion, achieving a second Octagoid kill with this time a Hydra, Triple Basilisk, and Quad Cyclops. And so the kill of the week belongs once again to Commander Katie Byrne. Last week she stunned the community in achieving the third ever Octagoid kill, and this week she did it again, but this time she has solidified her position as the best of the best and earning the number two spot on the ace leaderboard, just under Commander Maligno. Amazing work from a very talented and skilled commander proving that she is amongst the best of the best out there. That's it for this week's debrief commanders, yet again we had an extremely heavy week of commanders performing their first solo kills, respective variants of course, 
and just seeing our tea and metals section be flooded with Apollo's Wrath entries has just been absolutely crazy. I've been running out of room on the debrief to put commanders, as you can tell, so it's just absolutely amazing seeing what these commanders have been doing. Now I'm looking forward to seeing what next week brings, and as always commanders, aim for the heart. Carry on. <laughs>